the 2021 Ford Escape S. Hi, I'm Tim Bartsch, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find our complete guide walk around on our Ford vehicles specific to the trim, like we're going to do with this Escape S. We're going to cover all the standard equipment and different standalone options you can get on the S trim of the Ford Escape. So if you're looking for some information on that base Escape, uh, what's going to be included, this is the video for you. So if you haven't had a chance yet and you haven't don't know much about our YouTube channel, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. We're going to dive right in. Again, we're going to walk around the vehicle. We're going to cover the standard equipment first. Then we're going to go ahead and talk about some standalone options towards the end of the video. And we are going to start with safety. So, uh, you know, at any time, if there's some features here or some parts of the video you don't want to watch, you want to move ahead to other sections. There's timestamps down below, so feel free to move around. Uh, if you're watching this on desktop, you can uh, just click the bar. You can see with the different parts of that video and where they end and start. Uh, so you can go ahead and move around. And also at any time if you decide, hey, you're, this is a dealership you'd like to do business with, we are a Ford dealer in Salina, Kansas, so we do free shipping. So more information about the free shipping is at the end of the video, so that way you can get a vehicle from a dealership uh, that can uh, get the vehicle ordered the way you want it to, and we can even ship it right to you. So more information about that is at the end of the video. Yes, there is a timestamp for that as well down in the description. So let's go ahead and get started, talk about some safety features first. Uh, you know, you're, a lot of people out there are probably putting their kids in these vehicles, so let's talk about safety. Now safety is very important. Ford puts safety at the priority on all their uh, SUVs and uh, uh, they spare nothing even with the Escape here. Uh, so let's talk about first the airbags. You will have dual stage airbags. The driver and front passenger will deploy a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. There are sensors underneath the seats. Uh, so it knows that if you're too close to the glove box for the passenger or the steering wheel for the driver. There's also a near airbag as well for the driver. So it's gonna come down and deploy down uh, to protect your knees from that steering column there if you have that front collision there. There is a side impact airbag for so the driver and front passenger. So on the side of their seats, it'll deploy from that side collision to side impact there and deploy that airbag to help protect those occupants up there. Most of your collisions on the side will happen on the front doors up here. Uh, that's why you see that on there. Safety canopy airbags is gonna deploy down and protect those occupants from that breaking glass. If there's a rollover, it will have, of course, a rollover sensor for you. So it'll help protect occupants even in the back seat from breaking glass if you have that rollover situation. Also, a couple other uh, uh, ways that help, hopefully that doesn't happen, is advanced track with roll stability control. So that will hopefully keep you on your intended path. You won't have that situation happen where it rolls over. It does have curve control to help with that as well. Uh, you do have also a couple other different uh, technologies you're gonna have to help you, is you're gonna have electronic traction control and you're gonna have torque vectoring control as well. Both of, on both of those are great uh, ways to help control the vehicle and keep you where you need to be going. Also, you do have e-pass, electronic power assist steering. And that's going to really help out slower speeds. It's going to be easier to turn the steering wheel into those parking spaces and such. Faster speeds on the highway, it's going to you know, make it a little bit, it's going to stiffen it up a little bit. So that way that wind doesn't push you from side to side and you have to auto uh, correct a lot with the steering wheel. So some great technologies to help the vehicle drive a little bit better. Some other safety precautions you're going to see with these, it's going to have, if you are in an accident, it's going to have the uh, 911 assist that you can use. If you Bluetooth your phone in there, you can call 911 directly or even your emergency contacts. Uh, just by telling the system to do that. Also, it'll have SOS post crash alert system. So if you're in a severe accident uh, and you're off the side of the road or something, it's gonna honk the horns, flash the lights, let people know that you need, to, you need help there. Uh, and some other uh, great features like pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So what it's gonna do there is it's gonna see if there's a vehicle that's stopped or going much slower than you are and you're not paying attention, you're not hitting your brake, it's gonna alert you with a, a message on the dash the red alert there, series of tones that you need to stop, uh, and it will initiate brake support if you don't to hopefully lessen that severity of the accident or avoid it altogether uh, with that. It does have pedestrian detection and it does have the dynamic brake support to go along with that. Also, if you do get in an accident, it does have post-collision braking. And what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and break the vehicle if you maybe you get knocked unconscious or something like that and you're not able to hold the brake and put it into park it's going to hold it's going to press it's going to hold that brake so that way you don't go wandering into other traffic and make that wreck and the accident even more severe so post collision braking another great feature there a couple of different features in the back for the kids you do have the last system that lower anchors and tethers for children most automakers have that but it allows you to securely put those booster seats uh, down in there using the harnesses that the, the uh, car comes with. 
or the car seat will come with uh, so that way you don't have to use the shoulder harnesses uh, much more safe that way also does have the you know, on the back of the seat you can see where you can have that tether strap come over and keep it securely against the back of the seat for those front facing car seats there also for the door locks you do have the child safety lock so you can lock those out so the kids can't open up the doors even when the vehicle is unlocked uh, getting in and you know getting out of the vehicle or you know especially in the situation where maybe you're stopped you shut the vehicle off uh, maybe you're not wanting to get out yet uh, it does have that so that way you have to open the doors from the outside for those so some great safety features as you can see but let's go ahead and move around we're going to rotate this uh, this table around uh, talk about some of the features on the front including the engine now first off these can come in either front wheel drive or all wheel drive on the s trim so even the s you can get all-wheel drive, so if you just, you know, you really want to make sure you have all-wheel drive, uh, maybe, you know, in the wintertime, uh, you want to make sure you have that. Uh, you can get that even on the S trim without having to, you know, go up to the SE or in above for that. Now, it's does that we're, we're going to pop the hood here. I'm going to show you something unique to the, uh, to the uh, Escape. One of the first vehicles to get this technology, and that is the uh, hood hat latch. You notice when you uh, want to pop that, you just press it normally like that, and then you got to search and look for that other handle under there. With Escape, you just pull that lever a second time, just like it says, pull twice, and then you don't have to look for any kind of latch. You can just let and raise it up. Still do have the support arm that you'll need to, to put into place there. Um, but inside you will see the 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine, the you know, standard engine, only engine available for the S trim. Uh, does come with auto start stop technology. So when you come to the stoplight, stop sign, it's going to stop the vehicle or shut the vehicle off. Let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. Something you don't like uh, that you know Ford does it to help with emissions. A lot of vehicles are we're seeing that come with that. Uh, you can deactivate it. There's a little A with a circle around it right in front of the console there. So pretty easy to get to. Just press that and it's going to go ahead and deactivate the auto start stop for that engine cycle. What that means is when you shut the vehicle off, turn it back on, you'll have to do that again, uh, but it will shut it off for that engine cycle. 8-speed automatic transmission uh, as well here, so pretty good 8-speed. Uh, also does come with selectable drive modes, so several different modes like a normal eco mode. There's a slippery mode. That button is also right beside the auto start stop button, so you just press that. You can look on your and productivity screen, which we'll get more into in just a little bit. Uh, you can you can see the different drive modes that you can select from right there. So I like that uh, having those different drive modes. Uh, drive modes will actually change the shifting in the transmission, uh, engaging or disengaging the traction control, uh, and some things like that to help you when, in those types of situations and those different drive modes that you might want to select there. Now, also with this, you will have electronic brake. Uh, control here uh, electric brake I should say and it's going to come with auto hold feature as well so auto hold just there's a button right there you can just press that it's going to hold the brake for you uh, so that way you don't have to hold it at a stoplight stop sign if you're there for long periods of time you can rest your foot rest your leg press that auto hold button and then we'll hold it there for you so now talking about uh, some other uh, features here on the front this does have front and rear stabilizer bar as well so help you with that that great ride here in this vehicle. Uh, also, this does have active grill shutters. So active grill shutters, I'm not sure if I can get a good clip of that, but if you look through there, the shutters will open and close. It does it uh, your, itself. You don't have to control that, but at slower speeds, it's going to open those up, allow for more airflow in to help cool the, the engine off. Also, it does have a transmission oil cooler, by the way. Um, but also on the highway, it's going to close that. Uh, so hopefully help with better aerodynamics. I'm showing you the, the fuel economy for the front wheel drive as well as the all wheel drive on the screen there for you. Uh, so you can see what the kind of fuel economy you can expect with this, uh, with the active grill shutters as well. You'll notice the black grill up here. So it's a molded in black. Uh, molded in black means that that color is molded into the material when it's made. So it's not painted afterwards and such. So you're going to see that on several places around here when I talk about the molded in black. You're going to see it on the grill first as well as down here on the fascia uh, down here lower fascia is going to have that same material as well as the openings here where upper models will get the fog lights um, that's where they're going to see the molded in there as well silver uh, molded in down there on the skid plate so again the silver color is molded into material for that front skid plate dresses up just a little bit on this s model a uh, great addition there License plate, front license plate bracket is going to be standard equipment in states that require a front license plate. Kansas is not one of those, so it's actually optional. We'll talk about uh, that when we get to optional equipment. 
Talk about the headlights here, you will have automatic headlights, so they'll come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light, when you have an auto setting. What's really cool about this one is, is that whenever you shut your vehicle, it's gonna automatically go into auto setting, so that way you won't forget to turn your headlights on in those types of situations. So even if you turn your headlights off, shut the vehicle off, when you turn it back on, it's gonna automatically flip over to the A. Hopefully you did see that in that clip there. Also, they are uh, halogens, but they are projector halogens. So instead of reflector, they're projector, so they're gonna be a little bit brighter for you. Uh, so that's also a, a great feature there. And you're gonna, they're gonna be wiper activated, which means when you turn your wipers on, headlights will come on uh, for you as well. And then you have configurable daytime running lights as well. So you can have those configured to be on during the daytime if you'd like to. Uh, and this does have the auto high beams. Auto high beams is part of the Copilot 360 features, which this vehicle has all of the features from the, the Copilot 360 uh, suite of safety features, including the auto high beams. So auto high beams, the way they work is if it's you know dark enough outside, you're on a, a dark street, it's gonna automatically turn those high beams on. If the car approaches you, if you're in the city lights, it's gonna automatically turn them off. That is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your settings screen under the lightings for your vehicle. So you can just go in there, you can deactivate that uh, right through there in your settings. So that is, that's a feature my wife doesn't like. Uh, we live on a curvy road, so sometimes it doesn't shut off right away, and uh, so sometimes, uh, or just comes on, uh, comes on an awful lot. So, so that's a feature that we actually de uh, deactivate, but it's a great feature, especially if you're gonna be on the highway, you can go in there and activate it for you uh, for those trips. So uh, some great features, also lane keeping system. So lane keeping system is also part of the Copilot 360. So when you're you know, driving down the road, it does have a driver alert. So if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel, alert you and let you know that. Also, there's a lane keeping aid and alert system. So it's gonna have both of these. So what's uh, great about it is if you're you know, getting close to that, if you're gonna go over that line, it's gonna alert you if you have an alert setting and by vibrating the steering wheel, let you know you've left your lane. So it will let, let you leave your lane, but a vibration steering wheel let you know you've left your lane or you can put it on the aid system. And the aid system will actually not allow you to go over those lines, it gets close to those lines and uses that torque vectoring that it has to keep you in your lane. So a couple different ways you can go with that lane keeping system, either alert or aid, and there is a both. Uh, so you can put it on that just in case it goes, uh, that doesn't see those lines or it doesn't, it doesn't go ahead and come back and it goes over those lines, it'll go ahead and vibrate your steering wheel anyway and let you know you've gotten close to those lines. So uh, some great features there, uh, some great safety features that we talked about already uh, here even on the front of the vehicle. Now moving around to the side over here, the standard wheel on these is going to be a 17 inch steel wheel with a silver painted wheel cover. Uh, so from a distance, it looks like it has alloy wheels. Uh, some of our pictures even, you know, from a, a little distance there, it looks like you have the alloy wheels and they're actually steel wheel with the wheel cover there. All season tires are going to be standard as well and you're going to have tire pressure monitoring system on those and you're going to have four wheel disc brakes on the vehicle too uh, as your brake support there. Now the molded in black as we mentioned earlier on that grill, you're going to see that here come through on the wheel lip molding as well as the lower rocker molding down here. So you're going to see that on the side. Uh, that really durable, more durable. You don't have to worry about it chipping any kind of paint and that's why gonna, a lot of SUVs you're gonna see that molded in black at the bottom like that. You're gonna also see it on the door handles here. You're gonna see it around the windows as well as the belt line is gonna be that black too uh, with these, uh, the S trim and the mirror cap. So your mirror cap will have that too. The mirrors will be a power mirror, great feature to have. Even on the S trim, you're gonna have power mirrors. And you're gonna have as part of the Copilot 360 that bliss blind spot information system with the cross traffic alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know there's someone in your blind spot. You, it's not safe for you to go over that lane. Also, if you turn your turn signal on and there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna blink and let you know there's someone there. You don't wanna go into that lane yet. Also, as you're backing up in parking lots, uh, you know, grocery store or something like that. If someone's gonna cross your path behind you, it's gonna use those same sensors to alert you. Puts a uh, light in the mirror on the side they're coming from. Puts a message on the dash telling you that it's not safe to back up. But better yet, a series of tones says it's not safe to back up. So uh, I love the Bliss system. Uh, I wish I had it on my truck. Um, and it's standard on all of your escapes. So that's a, a great feature to have there. You do have keyless entry, uh, so that we'll have your power locks. We'll talk more about that when we get inside. So keyless entry with the uh, keyless remote, so you can uh, lock, unlock it using the remote. You do have a flip key, so you just press that button. Uh, I'll show you that. So you just press that button, and that way you can go ahead and use that. So a uh, real nice uh, keyless entry remote, so you can get inside uh, pretty easy. Also back here, you do have the, ease, the campus the Easy Fuel capless filler, uh, which is uh, great. No uh, door or no cap to worry about, leaving it behind, getting your hands dirty or anything like that. 
Don't have to worry, it doesn't have a double door system and uh, people can't really get into that easily. Even if you have, you know, gas cans, um, they will not fit into there. They have to be the exact size of the uh, nozzles that they are at the gas pumps. So that's why they include a funnel that we'll talk about when we get to the back where that's located. You'll need to use that if you ever run out of gas and need to fill it up. Uh, nice instructions right there on the door, but you just, you know, fill it up when you're done. Just close the door and a uh, uh, nice feature to have right there and you don't have to worry about losing any kind of gas caps. Now, moving to the back, you will see body color rear spoiler up here. It does have a center high, high, center high mounted stop light, uh, and that's, that's your brake light. So when you're braking, people even in SUVs and trucks can be able to see that you're stopped. It does have rear defrost and rear wiper back here. Your tail lights are LEDs, so you have LED tail lights back here. Uh, and your backup lights it does have a rear view camera. So as you're backing up, you're gonna be able to see behind you, which is a great feature to have. It's gonna be on that 4.2 inch screen. We'll get into more of that when we get inside. Also does have your black molded in bumpers back here. And you do see that silver molded in rear skid plate back here. You will also notice a dual exhaust that are, have chrome tips. So real nice look to the, um, to the vehicle as well uh, back here. And you will see these reflectors. And I point these out because it's a small thing but you know, if, you, if you're pulled over, uh, needing, uh, you know, needing to, to get into the back and you're off the side of the, the, the road, having those reflectors on the outside over there when they're not on the, the, the lift gate themselves makes it to where people will see that you're pulled over there and it's a great safety feature there. Manual lift gate, so just press a button under here and lift that up. Uh, in here, I am going to show you, this is where we use to store the, uh, the floor mats. This is an easy reminder to me that it does come with front and rear floor mats, carpeted mats for the, uh, for the footwells in there. So even the rear ones you'll get with those. Inside here, you will see some tie downs, some loops on the back for some tie downs. If you need to, you know, make sure some things are tied down there. Also it does have a power point in here. Uh, so you can plug some things in there in the back right there. You will see this, uh, this, this flooring here is positioned so it's flattened here. So you have, uh, so you can put that in there. But if you need to lay those seats down, you're gonna notice uh, that they don't lay completely flat to this floor. There is another uh, spot. So if I pull this out and I move up to that uh, top spot there, then it gives you that flat low level in there if you do lay that seat down. So that's the benefit of that there. Also, you'll notice those seats can, the back seats will get more into the interior uh, seating of the third row of the second row seat, but they can recline back and forth. You can see they're off the, the front, the uh, 60 percent side and the 4 percent side is a little off there because they can recline back. Also, those seats can move forward and back. The great benefit of that, you can move those seats forward towards the, the front seats and then you get more cargo room. But if you don't have cargo in there, those in the rear seat can move that seat back, giving them more leg room. So a great benefit there, a lot of leg room. We'll show you images of that when we get inside here. Also, if you look underneath this floor, you will see the uh, what's standard on this is the tire sealant and inflator kit. Uh, so that's standard equipment. Don't worry, there's optional equipment for a spare tire. We'll get into optional equipment in a little bit. So if you wanna make sure you have a spare, you can do that. But this is what's standard on the S trim. And you'll see that uh, funnel right there uh, towards the back. Just that's what you're gonna need if you ever run out of gas. You'll need that to be able to use those gas cans to fill up your vehicle. And some pretty good storage on the outside of where that spare tire is gonna go. And if you don't have a spare tire, uh, you even have more uh, uh, room in there to put some different things, blankets, those kind of things, small items, jumper cables and all that to be able to put underneath that and not take away from any of your cargo room that you have inside here. So uh, that's uh, the rear. Let's move inside. Talked about the interior, some interior features already a couple times. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk more about them. Now moving to the interior, and here you're going to see it's going to have your what they call a dark earth gray interior. Uh, only in co interior color for the S trim. You have to go up to the SE if you want to see any other different uh, interior colors in this. But real nice interior. You're going to see some black environment uh, throughout here as well as some a, a nice trim across the dash there and on your doors. So real nice look to that. So as you look across there with that, that image there. Also, your seats are going to be a gray on the top. You're going to see black on the sides over here. But uh, cloth seating surface is standard equipment, even on the S trim. And a very comfortable seat. Uh, so real nice adjustments here. You do have uh, the driver will get a six-way manual adjustment. And the passenger will get a four-way manual adjustment. The difference between those is that both of those will have a little uh, lever over here. So you can slide that seat forward and back. Uh, also, there's going to be a lever on the side to recline the seat back as well. Uh, so both seats will get that. The driver will also get a height adjustment. So you can, uh, this lever over here, you can raise and lower it. It is a manual adjustment, but you can raise and lower that seat. Really helps out for those uh, shorter drivers that need to see up and over the hood there. Uh, you can adjust that and raise that up there easily for them. 
Uh, back seat, 60-40 split bench seat, as we mentioned earlier. You can see in that, this uh, clip right here that that seat is, is uh, back all the way. Those seats can slide forward and back. So slide it forward if you need cargo room, but for people who are back, you can slide it back. Lots of leg room back there. I think you'll really enjoy all the, the room and comfort you're going to have even in the back seat back there. On the door, you do have your power windows and power lock switches here. So power, full power windows, locks, and mirrors right here. The, the driver does get an auto one-touch one down for the window, which means if you hard press it, the window will go down. You don't have to hold it, uh, but you will have to hold it for it to go up. So uh, those are nice features right there. The steering wheel is a polyurethane uh, steering wheel, black in color. You do have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So there's a lever over here. You just uh, pull that lever down. Uh, it'll go up and down. Uh, it'll go forward and back and up and down a little bit. There you go. Uh, so you can get it just where you need it to for whatever height you are. So I, I uh, suggest you of course, me move the seat to accommodate your legs to where you feel comfortable and then adjust the steering wheel accordingly uh, to where it's comfortable for you as well. Here on the steering wheel on the left side, you are going to see your cruise control. So we do have cruise control even on the S trim. Uh, buttons underneath on the bottom on that left side are going to control your audio controls. So, you know, volume up, volume down and to mute right there. Right side, you're going to see the switches on the bottom will control the Bluetooth tech, uh, connectivities as well as, uh, you know, being able to, you're going to notice there too, to hang up your phone, but also you're going to see those little arrows. Uh, that's to, to switch through your pre-settings for your radio right there. And then the buttons above that will control the 4.2 inch productivity screen. So we did see that earlier in some clips when we talked about drive, um, the drive modes. Uh, so you can see in there, that's where you control your settings and such for your lighting, wipers, that kind of thing are, that's going to be adjusted with those buttons on the right side side of the steering wheel there. Uh, two levers back here, the one here on the left of course is for your turn signals and on the end is where you're going to be activating and deactivate the lane keeping system so you want to make sure that's pressed. So if you're not sure it's uh, not working, it's not showing on there, uh, you just press the button on the end of that the left uh, uh, toggle switch there, uh, lever, whatever it's called, <laughs> and you're going to be able to uh, turn that on and off. The one over here on the right is going to control your wipers, so of course you go uh, up and down, we'll turn your wipers on. If you have any, one of those intermittents, and then there's a little levers here uh, on the, the face of it that will adjust the how fast you want the intermittent to go. And then on the, the end over here is going to be your rear wiper, and that's where you would control that is on the end of that lever right there. Talking about your climate control, it does have electronic single zone climate control, so everyone in here will have the same temperature here, uh, and it's pretty easy to adjust there and, and to see that, so uh, real nice and be able to just have everything lit up so it is electronically uh, uh, powered there. Also, your, for your, uh, speak, your audio, you have AM, FM, uh, stereo, six speaker audio sound system uh, in the vehicle, so you can connect your phone via Bluetooth as well. You will see the 4.2 inch screen there, uh, so you can have some pre-settings you can see with the numbers there. Uh, connect your phone in there. We'll have sync technology so you can Bluetooth in. Uh, it does say it has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, um, uh, so I'm assuming it just allows you to be able to have that on your phone. I'm not sure how it shows up in the screen. I've only, I've really only seen that on the the, the eight inch screens and the six and a half inch screens, uh, not on the four and a half, but it does mention it in the order guide is having the Apple CarPlay. Don't know if that's a misprint, but it's supposed to have that technology there. And down here in the be below in the media hub area is where you're gonna see your, where you can plug your phone in. So it does have a USB port as well as a USB type C and a PowerPoint down there. So all three of those down in there and even a big enough spot to be able to put, tuck that phone in there so you're driving safely putting the phone uh, in there and you can even plug in and have your cords sitting down in there so nice little media hub area down there now uh, real quick before we move into the console area i do want to talk about the mirror up here it does have a day night mirror so if cars come up behind you with those bright lights you just flip that lever forward there and it's going to go ahead and flip it up so that way they won't blind you there uh, and then it does have an overhead console here with the uh, interior lights i haven't turned off right now uh, but you can turn that lever over and they'll come on when the doors open. Uh, also, you do have a little compartment for sunglasses or small items in there uh, on the overhead bin as well. Talking about the console, first off, I love the texture. Even on S Tram, has real nice texture to this. Uh, so it's not that, you know, the, the normal material that you would see on the sides over here. A real nice texture to the console itself. You do have the rotary uh, gear shift dial here. Uh, so real nice to be able to, to, to turn that and see how that works. 
uh, we've been seeing that on several vehicles now. You do have, already kind of showed you all the, these clips on these buttons down here, but also you have that electric park brake right there. You have your auto hold. Uh, you just press that, it'll show you that it's on. And then your drive mode switch is right there behind that, as well as your auto start stop uh, deactivation switch is right there. Console does have a padded uh, armrest here. I'll open that up. Inside you have a little bin. You have slots for cords to come through. Uh, when you go up to different models, uh, you will, the reason you'll have that is for there will be power points and different things in the console itself when you go up to different models. S trim does not get those. All those connectivities are right there in the media hub. So I think I've covered everything. Oh, one other thing I want to cover is uh, the four pass connect. This does come standard with, uh, with sync with the Ford Pass Connect. That allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So you download the app uh, and then you connect your vehicle to that and you can remote start your vehicle from anywhere, even on the S-Trim. Uh, you can unlock and lock your vehicle since you do have power windows and locks. You can schedule remote start times, uh, find your vehicle using that app. So it's a great, uh, I suggest you use that. I use mine all the time. I, I schedule remote start times uh, so that my vehicle is nice and warm when I get out there in the winter time and cooled off in the summertime when I get out there as well. So I uh, love how that all works. So definitely make sure you connect your vehicles and go ahead and, and so that way you can take advantage of some of those great features. Now let's talk about some standalone options, which means, just like it sounds, you can buy those as individual standalone options. Uh, there's about four of them that you can get on the S-Trim. Um, one of them is your engine block heater. So engine block heaters, people that live in states that are very cold, uh, their engines have a hard time starting up, you can get the engine block heater in there, plug that in to your outlet, uh, keeping that engine warm overnight. Also, the front license plate. We talked about in states that require front license plate, it is standard equipment, but states like Kansas, where we don't require a front license plate, it is an optional equipment. It's a no-charge option. We order in all of our vehicles. We do a lot of out-of-state sales that require the front one. Plus, we have a lot of people that like personalized tags, so we will always put it on free of charge as a standalone option, so no-charge option there. Your wheel, you can upgrade to an alloy wheel, even on the S-Trim. So it's a 17-inch shadow silver painted alloy wheel. So you can upgrade from the steel wheel to an alloy on the S-Trim. Really gives it a, a nice look to the SE without having to go up to the price of an SE. So that's something you can add to it. Also the mini spare. Mini spare is optional equipment, so you can get it. It does, of course, replace the tire sealant and inflator kit. Uh, instead, you'll get that jack, wrench, and the, the mini spare that will go in that housing in there that we did see earlier. So you can get the spare tire as optional equipment too. Now let's go ahead and talk about some accessories. So accessories mean that you can get those from the factory. Usually they're shipped uh, sometimes with the vehicle, sometimes shipped to the dealer ahead of time. Uh, but these are accessories you get from Ford, uh, but also you can get from Ford accessories at your local dealer as well. So that you can get them after you get your vehicle. So if you see a vehicle out there that has everything that you're wanting, uh, but some accessories, you can add those yourself later uh, from your Ford, local Ford dealer. Most of them are just installed yourself, but a couple you would probably need the dealer's help if you want to have it installed. First one to talk about is the mud flaps. So you can get mud flaps on these. Uh, they're called splash guards as well. Uh, so splash guards can be added to them, uh, especially if you live down dirt roads and such and you're gonna you know, kick up a lot of rocks, you may wanna get the splash guards to help protect the side of the, the vehicle from rocks and such like that. Also you can get remote start. So we talked about earlier that you can use the app to remote start your vehicle, but if you really wanna be able to start it quickly uh, and easily, this vehicle happens to have the, uh, the remote start that was ordered from the factory that way. Uh, and so it has a really nice remote. I'll try to give you an image of that if I remember. <laughs> Uh, but you can remote start the vehicle. So you just have it locked and then you remote start it. And it, uh, this is, a, like, I think they call it an extended range. So a little bit further than they used to have. Uh, so you can you know, remote start the vehicle using that remote as well. Also inside you can get uh, all weather mats. So they call them floor liners. Uh, two different ways you can order those, either with or without the carpeted mat. So that's great. In the past, uh, you got the all weather mats and then you, were, uh, you had the carpeted mats. And if you never use the carpeted mats, they just kind of st they just sit in your, in your garage or something, right? Uh, but now you can get it with or without the carpeted mats, so it can save you some money. So if you get the all-weather mats uh, without the carpeted mats, then you wouldn't, of course, they wouldn't include the carpeted mats, but it would save you some money that way. So a couple uh, different ways to order the all-weather mats. Also in the cargo area, a couple different things back there. One of them is a cargo mat. So you can get it, put a cargo mat on there, help protect it, especially if you know you're gonna get it dirty. I put things in there if you go camping or something like that, go outdoors a lot, or maybe, you know, I know a lot of people sometimes are, uh, they do a lot, a lot of planning of stuff, or they go to the store, hardware store and get some things that might get that dirty back there. You can have that cargo mat in there to protect that carpet back there. 
Also, you can get a cargo shade. Cargo shade will go in there. It'll pull over so people can't see the different belongings you have back there, especially with these without the privacy glass. Uh, that can become in real handy, so that way people can't you know, look in there and see any valuables you have and hopefully save you from maybe somebody trying to get in there. So uh, some great accessories and uh, standalone options for you that I think you'll like uh, that might, you might add to your vehicle when you go ahead and order it from the factory. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, complete guide walk around on the S trim of the Ford Escape. We will be doing the other trims as well, so be looking for those. Uh, and a best way to be alerted of those videos is if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. So hit that red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. And we are a Ford and Lincoln dealer, so we'll be, you'll be seeing some Ford and Lincoln videos from us. We also are doing a new, uh, we're going to be doing some, some videos on Tuesdays as well, uh, where you can talk to us and chat with us live on some of the technology on the Ford vehicles. So be uh, definitely subscribe to the channel. We have some great content that I think you'll really like, especially if you like any Ford products, uh, you may want to check out our channel. Also, if you did like this video, go ahead and smash a like button. Put your comments down below if you have any questions uh, for me. Uh, if you, uh, even if, if you want to just shout something out, something that you'd like to see in our videos, put that down there in, in the comments. I do read those myself and respond to those when I get a chance. So definitely put those down there. Share the video out if you'd like the video. Um, but more importantly, if you do uh, you know, like this video and you want to get a Ford Escape and you're thinking maybe this S trim is exactly what you're looking for, uh, you're, you're needing a dealer out there, check out our website, lawmacarthur.com. Uh, there on our website, you can see you know, all of our inventory there. You can narrow down to, the, to exactly the escape and even the S trim if you want to. And then you can see our great internet price there. Uh, and then of course, if you have any questions, you can call or send us a text message. We have coordinators that can help you out. Uh, great department uh, that has been with us for a long time. They know these four vehicles and they can help you out, get all the information that you're looking for and let you know what we have available. And if we can order something for you as well, they can let you know that. Uh, also, free shipping. We do free shipping for all of our uh, customers that are out of state. So uh, you do have to mention that you saw this video. It's a YouTube special. So uh, let them know that you uh, saw this video here and you want to get a vehicle from us. Uh, a great way, you know, to get a vehicle ordered the way you want it to uh, and have it shipped right to your door from a dealership that knows their product. Uh, can't go wrong there. Uh, the only ha we, we're very transparent about this. The reason we ask uh, we will ask that you finance the vehicle with us uh, that will pay for that shipping cost. So we don't want that cost incurred onto you, but if you plan on uh, financing the vehicle anyway, uh, so it, it's not really a, any cost incurred onto you and the lenders give us a kickback to pay for the shipping to ship it right to your door. So uh, we've had a lot of people do that. We have probably about 20% of our business is done outside of the state of Kansas from people who watch these videos and have, have vehicles drop shipped right to their house. And what a great way to do that anymore. Uh, so take advantage of that and uh, hope you enjoy Enjoy this video you can find us we have a social media sites on Facebook Instagram and also Twitter so it's at Law MacArthur and any of those and you can check us out see what's going on here locally at the dealership specials we have going on as well as some Ford news we always post on there as well so hopefully you enjoyed this video and until the next one we'll see you later